4K, hopefully you will not see much pixelation. You will see anyway, but uh, not as bad as it was. What you see is now passing the center of the picture, hopefully, is what is called as Aristarchus Plateau. And the light is not very good, and also the clouds are closing a little bit. And you can see the color of it is it's different. So one of the olivine rich area, olivine is a metal that, uh, the mineral that exists in the mantle area of the planets crust mantle core if you remember these are the layers of the planets planetary bodies uh, which are made of rock or any other surface has this kind of layering any object differentiated object gravitational So it's now passing the center, top top of the center, above the center. And the brightest spot is the Aristarchus crater itself. And to the lower part of the image you can see the Reiner Gamma. Oh, suddenly it became so clear. Try to Bring it to the center. Yeah, it's now right dead center. I'm doing all this with my mobile camera, but uh, I use a bracket. It's one of these ones that I bought. Digicam attachment adapter. I bought it from China. Really, I'm happy with the result. looking through the eyepiece directly. I just enjoy the view. Um, yeah, good as a map. All these lunar features are created by impact. Circular features are called crater. Well, the craters to me are superficial because what you see is the geological feature like mantles, faults, even faults. I've seen some faults, can you believe it? And some uh, thrust faults and faults. You have to look for them. And as my skill in digiscoping increases, I will try to show you more of these features. I start course again is at two o'clock and uh, at two o'clock or half past three you can see the tiny dot of the Rhino Gamma, that man uh, magnetic anomaly. The superficial feature they say that is because the soil of the moon, the lunar soil in that part, due to the magnetic field can, could not be weathered, uh, blackened, darkened by the um, solar wind and that's the reason the, they have remained bright they deflect the charged particles you know that charged particles deflect in the magnetic field so if there is a magnetic field there all the week it is working 
So the interesting anomalies. You can imagine if you're a science writer, science fiction writer, you can write about that. <laughs> Is a city or something to trying to protect itself from the damaging and carcinogenous effects of the sun and uh, yeah, magnetic storms from the sun. Yeah, that's actually a very good story. You know? <laughs> if you're writing, write it. Right, just give credit to me. Hard for sure. Beautiful, magnificent uh, Caucasus Mountains. And the moon is a spherical. Clearly, you can see when I focus on the edge of the picture, the side of it is out. What you can see there in the center is the Copernicus crater. To the right of it is the Kepler crater. And the dot, tiny dot, to the right of that Kepler, near the edge of the white area, where the down to it a little bit lower is a black dot, that's Grimaldi. That tiny white dot is the uh, magnetic anomaly called uh, Rainer Gamma, or Rainer Gamma. As you can see, the thin layer of cloud that exists in the sky is moving. It's mist, practically. And, uh, yeah, the Italy-shaped uh, area to the top uh, is the Jura Mountains. And uh, and you can see a tiny dot also in that Jura Mountains called Plateau, actually. Crater Plateau, the philosopher. The bright dot to the 2 o'clock in this image, if you imagine the top part is 12 and the lower part is 6, at two o'clock of the image, in the middle of the, in, in somewhere in the black patch, the white dot is Aristarchus, and the area around it is Aristarchus Plateau, the volcanic area. Yes, the clouds are making it really dark. I don't know what it is, what it actually should be. Yeah, and the circular feature 
black circle of which on the top at 12 o'clock so is the big black circle uh, is the mare uh, um, embryo sea of the rains and uh, to the lower part of it at seven o'clock of that circle what you can see is the mountains of the Apennine. Yeah, Apennine.